and doing her show and it's always fun, you know, it's kind of a break in the middle of all the crazy, really stressful, high, um, you know, serious fashion week. Uh, so it's fun. It's fun break. You get to dance down the runway. You get to do anything on the runway. Um, it's, it's just, it's a fun, uh, fun show to do. So many times it happens too fast. Movie. If I was in a movie, I would, I would want it to be an action movie because there's always hot, hunky guys like, you know, in the big action movies, like, you know, I'd want to be, I'd want to be like saved by one of the big hunky action stars. So yeah, I'd be in an action movie. <laughs> If we had a time machine right now, I would hop in it and jump straight back into, either, well, two things. I would go first stop in the 70s because that was like one of my favorite times for style, for fashion, for music, for culture. Just I think it was an incredible time to live, you know, and I think that the 70s would be the first stop. And then I would make a pit stop in the 90s and, you know, strut a few uh, catwalks uh, with all the supermodels. That would have been like the ultimate time. I think that is subconsciously where I belonged. I, I should have lived in the 90s. That should have been my heyday. But, uh, but that's, where we, that's, where, that's where we would be. fashion goes I love like the Marie Antoinette era I think that that would have been a fascinating time to live and the um, you know the gorgeous big gowns the couture gowns that women actually wore on a regular basis I think that would have been incredible so Back when, like, every woman, you know, got, like, just a full face of makeup and hair and a full, you know, a look before she walked out the door, you know. And I think that that was just such an incredible time. I think that, I think it's too casual now. I love, like, I love getting, that's what I love about this job is that I get to play dress up and, and really uh, take on these characters, become a woman of, of, uh, of any of the times. Like from the 70s, the 90s, the 30s, I get to... I get to play, uh, play dress up, I guess. I don't know, I have a cool job. <laughs> I was, uh, let's think about this, I was always kind of quiet. I mean, I, 
I think that's why I could get away with like trouble. I think because I was always kind of quiet, like I would never be the one to like, you know, um, be the, I was never like the, I don't know, the teachers knew that I was a good kid so I could get away with anything. Like I could get away with, you know, uh, being um, mischievous, I don't know. But I was definitely, I was a good kid. I was a, I, what am I saying was? I still am, I am, I'm in school, I'm still a good, like, I, speaking of, I graduate school in three months, so... Thursday, tomorrow... I will be on a plane back to St. Louis, and Friday I will be in school, so it's kind of crazy to think, but, uh, but I, I'm so excited. Three months left of this chapter of my life, and then, uh, and then life begins, and then, uh, you know, I'll be in New York and doing this full time, and uh, life begins. most bizarre transition jumping from the Paris Fashion Week to St. Louis, Missouri High School, but it's the most refreshing uh, sort of juxtaposition um, and I, I Down in London town. For the first look I have this hood um, and it's like there's four girls and we have these hoods and it's so cool and so mysterious and we're all coming down the catwalk at different times and it's gorgeous. Take me to New York, I love to see LA. I really want to come pick you with you. You'll be my American boy. And then the second one I have this black turtleneck and high-waisted black skirt and it's um, the shoes are amazing and the clothes are always gorgeous. So. No, I ain't been to MIA. I heard the Cali never rains in New York's wide away. First, let's see the West End. I'll show you to my bedroom. I'm liking this. Oh, oh it's nice and glowy and everything. So, we're at Ellie Saab. We're at Ellie Saab. We're backstage and it's the last show of Paris Fashion Week and I am. I could not be happier. I am glowing right now. I'm so excited. It's, it's done. Almost. It's almost done.
a show where that catwalk turns into a red carpet. Every girl that walks down the catwalk on the Ellie Saab runway looks like they are ready for the red carpet. And it's just, you feel like a million bucks. You feel like a gorgeous glamazon in these gowns. And it's one of my, uh, one of my favorite times to strut on the runway because you just feel gorgeous. So. I want to be famous, a star of the screen. But you can do something in between, in between Ooh. Baby, you can drive my car Ooh. Yes, I'm gonna be a star Baby, you can drive my car And baby, I love you I've learned a lot. I've learned a lot about myself. I've learned a lot about the world. I've seen so many incredible countries and, and cities and, and met so many influential, iconic people and interesting, I mean, uh, just the, the experiences that I've had since doing this are things, you know, that I would have never ever experienced or known otherwise and I feel so blessed that I've been able to, uh, to have this and, and will continue to hopefully uh, keep keep learning and traveling and uh, enjoying life.